Good morning, guys. How you doing today? You feeling good? Let me know down in the comments. Leave me a comment. Definitely like to hear it. It is just about 10 a.m. I'm getting a relatively late start to the video, but not as late as it could have been. I uh, actually got up this morning and made a very, very quick video about the big Android giveaway because that has started and will be going for the next couple of weeks. And as I mentioned in that video, I did break 50,000 subscribers late last night sometime. And because of the giveaway, it's now up 50,100 and something. And yes, in case you're curious, I did end up using the MacBook Pro to edit the giveaway video. It's, a, it's like a minute and a half video, so it didn't take a huge amount of time. It took literally seconds to render the video. Gotta love that. However, I did come upon a bit of a weird issue, and I've looked it up very quickly, and there's there doesn't appear to be an answer to it. Uh, a lot of times when I'm doing videos, I'm just kind of moving things around here, but I'll do overlays. I'll put things over top of the video that I'm making, and then I'll transition between them. In this particular example, I put up images of the people's channels that I was talking about. So, for example, I've got Jeff Springer's channel right here, and then... As we move along, it goes to Droid Moder X's channel, but you may have noticed there was not a transition there. It just goes blank from one to the next, just a jump cut. Same over here and over here. There's no fades. With Premiere Elements and with Movie Studio and everything, I've been able to do just seamless transitions between those, but for whatever reason, iMovie doesn't appear to offer any sort of transitions on the overlay, the cutaway is what they call it. There's some really neat things you can do with it, like picture in picture and split screen and things like that, but one, I'm not sure if you can do any more than two layers, so I think you can just have your main video and then a cutaway, and two, if you can't do things between the cutaways, that really hurts the video for me. It's not that big of a deal. I mean, it's it's it just makes it feel more rough, I guess. And I did read there is a workaround, and basically it involves splitting the audio out of your video clips, deleting the original video, and replacing it with the clips that you want to transition between, which works, but that means that every time you want to do a cutaway, you've got to split and delete, and it's just not really the best option. It's, it's just silly that Apple would take that feature away or not provide that feature. You can do fades in and out, but you can't do fades between. So it doesn't really meet the standard of the traditional nonlinear video editor because it's sort of not. Anyway, I've got a meeting here in just a few minutes, so I'm going to go ahead and get everything ready for that and uh, get this day started. All right, meeting accomplished. USPS actually just showed up and dropped off a couple of packages. This is the Notepal X Slim laptop cooling pad. It supposedly has a giant fan in here, so and it works with up to 17 inch laptops. So hopefully my MacBook Pro is not going to catch on fire now. And in case you were further curious about it, you can see their big old fan in there. Flip it over. You got the bottom grill, you got just fan area all around. Two little flip up legs on it so that you can get a little bit up and off the desk. And you've got the USB cable that's actually routed around through the chassis of the, the fan. And you can store it in either this side or that side, so you can move it whichever way you want. Very convenient, I like that. My MacBook has ports on either side, so it really doesn't matter. And the USB plug does have a USB port on either side of it, so you're not going to lose the port to it. Very nice. And there you have it in place. Not quite as slim line as I may have expected. It's actually thicker than the MacBook Pro by quite a bit. But uh, at least, it, like I said, it's going to keep it cool, hopefully. So let's plug it in and see what it sounds like. Yeah, I can definitely hear that. I can hear that quite loud. It's not that it's immensely loud, but it's, it's decently loud. So I may only end up using it when I'm doing lots of editing and or rendering. The rendering doesn't take terribly long. I just don't want the laptop to overheat on me. It's my work laptop. But yeah, little fan is in there spinning away. Getting this job done. And I will say, it's supposed to support up to a 17-inch laptop. This is 15.6, and you don't have a huge amount of gap on the sides. So I don't know how big a 17-inch laptop would be to fit onto. I don't know. Anyway, it's gonna work. Also, in the mailbox, it turns out there were a couple of cases from Varus. Uh, a while back, I made a video about the case on my Nexus 5X and how it didn't quite fit right, and it was missing the microphone at the bottom. They have taken care of that. This new version has the microphone in it. They went in and sent me two just to make sure everything fits appropriately. And it looks like they sent the light silver and the, what is the satin silver? Steel silver. So the, the side is going to be a little different. So I had the steel silver before. This is the steel silver, the new one. This is the light silver. And on my Galaxy S7, I do have the light silver. So I may end up using this on the Nexus 5X. And realistically, I don't know. It doesn't really matter all that much if I have a 100% functional case on the Nexus 5X because I, uh, that is unless I start using it as a daily driver again. 
while I have the Galaxy S7, I'm, I'm not gonna be most likely. Tech reviewer issues. So what I'll probably end up doing is giving away this case and then using this one, I don't know. We'll figure it out in time. And it is quite a little while later and I've not been nearly as productive as I would have liked to have been. Just, I'm in a weird funk. I've told you guys that a few times now. I did, however, take a little bit of time over lunch and unbox this Aspen Mic lavalier microphone. Had some weird, quirky issues with it, plugging it directly into the G7. So I, I'm running some other tests with it. Plugged it into the Tascam, the external recorder. Sounded beautiful, sounded perfect. That speaks volumes to the power of an external audio recorder and really kind of makes me want to go back to using that because I'm, from what I can tell, the, uh, the G7 that I record to actually has a built-in automatic gain control that I don't think can be disabled. Because when I'm recording anything, the very beginning of it, there's always this really loud hiss. Not even a hiss, it's like the background noise is amplified to the maximum. And then as soon as I start talking, it gradually fades back down and doesn't seem to come back up much unless there's a really long period of silence. So, I, I don't know. I, I don't exactly, like I said, I don't want to go back to an external recorder, but that's where I'm going to be able to get the best audio quality and be consistent. But that does mean syncing another audio source in with what is potentially going to be two camera sources at least. So that's loads of fun. And the Espen Mike's video has been edited. I think I'm going to have to actually go back to it and make some changes simply because the uh, I pulled footage in from the Galaxy S7 and for whatever reason, audio and video went out of sync. I didn't edit it on the, the Mac, I edited it on the PC. And I'm not going to go back and redo it on the Mac, because that's just more time to waste. If anything, I'll go back and just separate the audio and fix it, as opposed to going back and redoing the entire thing, because there's, there's no point in that. But just a random change, train of thought kind of thing. There, there's a comment from Kyle Ruggles, from Kyle. Uh, he comments on all the vlogs. Of course, Kyle, thank you for watching, thank you for all your comments and support. But his comment from yesterday, it's from uh, two hours ago actually, said uh, at 2.16 in yesterday's video, I'm wondering if you feel excited about a product anymore. I mean, you have so much. I see the Ge Gear VR and I know if I had it, I wouldn't be able to wait to crack it open and give it a go. And that actually really got me thinking. I've been down, I've been in a weird funk and maybe that's what it is. Maybe it's the excitement that I'm losing it. Over the last few years, I've very quickly turned what I love, one of my passions in life, into a job. And when you turn it into a job, more often than not, you ruin it for yourself. So I, I've been expanding out and trying new things, and then as I expand out and I productize and marketize all of those things, it kind of loses the fun again and again. So like Bluetooth headphones, they used to be amazing and awesome to me, and now it's just like, how oh, great, another Bluetooth headphone. And then batteries. Batteries were like, whoa, I could have this little teeny battery in my pocket to keep my phone charged. That's all. And then it was like, oh crap, batteries. And then VR headsets. VR headsets are ridiculously cool. And now when I see one, like the Gear VR, I still have not opened it because there's this little thing in the back of my head that's like, oh look, it's another VR headset, another mobile VR headset specifically. <laughs> mobile VR headset specifically, and it's really hard to get excited about it because it's just another one of the same thing. The same thing can be said about phones. I mean, yes, I got very, very excited when I opened the Galaxy S7, but I was talking to TK last night and basically said, you know, I'm about this close to actually returning the Galaxy S7. Uh, I've got a, I think it's like 15 or 30 days with Best Buy that I can take it back. Uh, I've got it in a case, so it's been safe and protected this whole time, but I'm seriously tempted to take it back because it's like, I paid over $700 for this thing and it's a great phone, but I don't know if it's really that much better than the Nexus 5X. It has more RAM, obviously, it's got a faster processor, it does wireless charging and fast charging, and it does have a great camera, but is it worth an additional $400? Very, very hard to justify. Now, in my case, I probably am gonna go ahead and hold on to it just because, like I said, wireless charging, fast charging, maybe wireless fast charging, I can't remember offhand. And then on top of it, just having it as a good camera and having it as a device for comparison. So if I end up picking up an iPhone later in the year or the, the LG G5 or the HTC, whatever the crap they're making, then I'll have something new to compare it to, something of this generation. But having paid this much for it, it's just like a kick in the balls. And you know, that projector, I, that's what I, the other thing I was telling Kyle in the comments was the projector came in and because it's something new to me, it's something unique that I haven't had hands on with, I got really excited about it. And then the comment section of the video sort of squashed that for me. I'm still really excited about it. I still think it's a very, very cool little thing. But after putting up the video, it's just kind of like, ugh. Oh. So, you know, because it's, it's not, uh, the, the one that I got was not a great deal. I didn't pay for it, so I genuinely don't care. But that means that even though I shared my excitement about it, nobody else is excited about it. And that kind of, kind of bummed me out a little bit. Yeah. 
I know, I'm, I'm, I'm complaining about tech reviewer troubles, first world problems, above first world problems. There's no reason for me to be complaining about these things, but that does sort of explain where I have been and where I am and makes me realize that I have to, I've got to figure out some way to make it continue to be fun or else I'm not going to want to do it. That's like, I, I would assume that's like 99% of the reason why I haven't been making videos as quickly. You know, I occasionally will get on this really wild tangent and suddenly make seven videos in a day, but then at the same time, the next day, it's like, well, um, another another VR headset, or it's it's another $100 phone, or it's another pair of headphones, and so on and so forth. It's, it's all about finding the balance, I think, about rotating through and... I mean, that's a large part of the reason why I picked up Yoda, but I haven't had time to open up Yoda because I've been, I've felt beholden to all these other companies that have been sending things out. I just got to figure out what I want to do. I will, I got to figure out who I want to be when I grow up. Actually, I think that's why I do so much of this vlogging and why I talk to the camera as much as I do like this, because it does allow me to sort of vent and to figure out what I'm supposed to be doing and who I'm supposed to be and how I'm supposed to do this and be able to do this in a way that's sustainable. So thank you guys for that. Thank you for listening. That was a very soothing and relaxing little time lapse. I just, after that last little clip, I happened to look outside and I noticed the clouds are just, they're, they're beautiful and they're puffy and inspiring in a way. So I was just like, let me, let me just take my time-lapse camera, we'll set it out back on the back porch, the back little teeny deck thing, and, and just capture for a little while. And it turned out pretty well. But after taking some time and just sort of sitting back and thinking about it while working on day job stuff, and actually working on Ruby scripting stuff, I, I pulled the Ruby script from the uh, vlog creation stuff over to the Mac so I can now actually create the vlog related things, specifically the titles, inside of the Mac without having to do it all on the desktop. Anyway, uh, but while I was doing all that, I was just sort of sitting back and thinking, sort of planning out what I want to do, how I want to fix this funk that I'm in. And I think the way to fix it, one, is just to stop accepting so many things from companies, take a step back, as it were, from the things that are just extraneous, and sort of focus on the core of what I want my channel to become. What that is, I'm not entirely sure, but it needs to be paired back in terms of the stuff that's coming in. Because there's a lot of things that it's like, that they'll show up and I'm just like, I'm never gonna touch this ever again, but it'll make an interesting video. Extraneous pairs of Bluetooth headphones and speakers and things like that. So definitely paring down, We're just going for the things that I think are gonna be very interesting to me, and potentially also some of the things I think will do well on video, meaning things that will be potentially good numbers of videos. And I hate to say that, but that is that is one of the things I do have to kind of focus on. The other thing is, um, I, I told you I, I sometimes will do like six, seven videos in a day, and sometimes I'll do none for like a week at a time. Uh, and that's bad. I need to get myself in the habit of filming at least one video per day. I don't have to film the entire thing. I just have to film something. And the vlogs don't count because the vlogs just involve me turning on the camera and blabbering for a little while or showing my adorable family. Now, I need to make time to either film main video stuff with both cameras or B-roll stuff or just over overlay stuff or screen capture something. I have to make myself film at least one thing per day. Th that way, I think with that amount, I will be able to keep up and not burn myself out. Because if I'm doing seven videos a day, like you saw there, I did seven videos that one day and then I didn't do any videos like five days. So I, I had burned myself out very quickly there. But if I can do one, maybe two in a day, uh, and, and just try to do at least one per day, I'll be doing pretty well. As it stands, I've already done technically two today but I might do one more sometime this evening. I, I, I keep saying I have to come back and do this free will uh, filter kit for the Osmo. The Osmo is going to be the first one that I do just because it doesn't involve having to take the Phantom 3 out and fly it around for a while. And we've just had so much wind lately, it's been impossible to do that. So I'm going to take the one for the Osmo and start working on that, but I don't know when I'm going to do it. Maybe I'll do that tomorrow. So I think the, the other video that I'm going to work on for today is probably either this other quadcopter, which I'm just I'm unfortunately not excited about in the slightest, or I may actually unbox Yoda. I mean, that's that's gonna be a fun video. It's not necessarily gonna be something that I pull out and that I play with all the time or anything, but it's something that's going to, it, it's gonna make me feel better, I guess. It's something that's different. It's something that my channel doesn't have on it already. It's something that I haven't done personally yet. Because I think that's where I'm really getting hung up. I'm getting hung up on, 
done this the same thing over and over and over and over again. I want to do something different. Oh, look, it's, it's me saying the exact same things about a phone over and over and over again, as evidenced by the fact that I've had three phones from Blue come in in the last two, three months. And for every one, it's, you know, here's the phone. It's got a pretty decent build quality. It has these specs that are all pretty much identical. It, they have this design that's all fairly similar. Uh, they have all these accessories that are all fairly similar. That's why when I did the Galaxy S7 unboxing, I did it in a more sassy, fun kind of way. Maybe that's how I need to do all of my unboxings. And again, try to vary things up, change it just a little bit every time. Have fun with it. Fun is what I'm missing. And welcome home, and it's food time, and hello. I was just delivering a boy. Ooh, and it's really nice day, so it looks like we're doing some grilled chicken and super healthy broccoli. Healthy stuff. Another beautiful sunset out here, although I can't really see the ground because the sky is so bright. Let's see. There's that. Turn it down just a little, trying to get it to expose right. Yeah, can't really see both. That's what the sunset looks like. Wow. It's much, much later. I don't think I've filmed anything for a while. It's after 10 p.m. Duncan's in bed. Christina and Ellis are in there. Uh, she's watching the basketball game. I think the last thing I filmed was actually on my phone, and it was of the sunset. Anyway, been just hanging out this evening, taking it easy, getting stuff done. The, uh, wait, what did I even do this evening? I mean, I know today I got the, the video for the giveaway put up, and I got the video for the Aspen mic put up. I don't know if I mentioned that earlier or not. Finished the video about the Aspen mic. Uh, but other than that, I think I've just been getting stuff ready for the XDA video and for my Twill News video. Something's gonna have to give. Something's gonna have to change. This is just, it's eating my entire day doing both of these. I know the, the grand majority of the people that have been watching the, uh, the Twill News video, they're absolutely loving the length of the video and the amount of stuff that I cram into it, but it's so much that I'm gonna have to pare it back. I mean, I have nine, no, yeah, only 19 stories, but because I talk so much about each one, uh, it takes me 19 minutes to film that. Uh, it actually literally took 19 minutes, and that's just me sitting there talking. I'm gonna cut it down. It's probably gonna be less than 10 minutes, but it's gonna take forever to do it. I've gotta get to it. And that's a way to wrap up the evening. I, uh, I'm right in the middle of editing my Twill video. Still have to edit the X XDA video. Luckily, I do have the, the vlog edited up to this point. And, uh, yeah, he was brought to me. It was, it, it was 11 p.m., so it was bottle time, and Christina was up later than she really wanted to be. I just, I honestly do not know what happened to my evening. It's like, we went from everybody got home, we had dinner at a little after 5 o'clock, to, wait a minute, what happened? It's almost 11. Uh, I better probably make videos. Yeah. And the, the Twill News video was 20 minutes of filming for 11.45, 11 minutes, 45 seconds of actual video. So I was able to cut out about eight or nine minutes of video. So that's good. But now the added challenge of editing one-handed. So loads of fun. Luckily, the grand majority of the editing stuff that I do for these videos can be done one-handed. Inserting the images and the clips and stuff, you, ha you can do with one hand and positioning them with one hand and then actually navigating, making cuts and deletes can be done with a Shuttle Pro entirely, which is great. It's just challenging. Yeah. And basically it's use the Shuttle Pro to, to navigate and do cuts and deletes then use the other hand on the mouse to actually bring in the, the overlay clips and, and go back. It's fun. We'll put it that way. And by the way, I completely forgot to mention, first and foremost, it is still March 17th. It's uh, St. Patrick's Day, so if you do celebrate, awesome. Congratulations, have fun. I'm wearing green, being old traditional and whatnot. It's actually a green shirt with a shamrock. It says Lucky or something like that on it. One of the only green shirts that I own. And also, yes, I did see you in the comments, Nishant, Geeky Nishant. He's been asking for like the last week if I would check out his channel again. I have looked, he's been putting out videos on a very regular basis, so if you would like to, please do go check out his channel. I'll, I'll try to remember to put a link down in the description if I can get away for two seconds but uh, if not you can always check out the comments of these videos he does leave comments on the grand majority of them he's a longtime supporter of the channel and I definitely appreciate it so make sure to go show him some love most of the videos I've seen of his are in Hindi and I, I do not speak that language unfortunately so uh, if that is a language that you speak if that is something that you're interested in learning more about uh, Indian devices is spoken in Hindi by all means go check it out and I've finally gotten him to fall asleep. He had his bottle, like I said earlier, he's good. And I've got the XDA video edited. It's rendering right now. Should be done in just five minutes or so, and I'll get that uploading. 
long night. I've actually broken my rules. It's just after midnight, but I'm going to wrap things up. And I'm going to wrap things up because I literally just got the email from T-Blocks saying that the giveaway, not T-Blocks, from Gleam.io saying that the T-Blocks giveaway completed. So I'm going to go ahead and draw the winner right now on this video so you can see what I'm seeing as I'm seeing it. So as you can see here, we have the T-Blocks giveaway. We had 100 actions, not a huge amount. So that means that everybody has a really good chance. And you can see we got people from like Mexico and the Netherlands and uh, India and Oregon, and Philippines and all sorts of stuff. So I'm going to go ahead and click on the winners tab. It says we have one prize left with 100 valid entries. We're going to hit draw winner. And I actually just realized that I probably should not show the actual winner because I don't want to show their email address, but it was Tom Rowland from the UK. I'm going to go ahead and send an email over to him with the, the they sent me the, the giveaway coupon code so he can use that to go ahead and, and get his stuff set up. I'll triple check everything and make sure he's actually subscribed properly and whatnot, but happy to get this over with, happy to, to give this to somebody who's a follower of the channel and specifically probably of the T-Blocks videos. Yeah, I just checked, it says that Tom Rowland is subscribed to actually both of my channels and it says he's been subscribed, he's been subscribed to the Twill Plays, the, the this channel, the vlogging and, and uh, subscription boxes channel since April of 2014. So Tom, if you happen to see this vlog, if you happen to see this video, thank you for, for being around for so long. That is awesome. <laughs> and then I look through and I see that there's actually a, a comment that's been left by him on February 19th on Duncan's birthday. He says, happy birthday, little guy. Have a good one. So he, he does watch the vlogs as well, apparently. So that's awesome. So I'm going to go ahead and shoot him an email and give him his coupon code to claim his first T-Blocks box. I think I may have said Geek Fuel earlier. Oh, well. Thanks to all of you guys who entered the giveaway. Hopefully uh, we can do more of these in the future. I know I, I certainly enjoy being able to do them. Make sure you do head over to the main channel if you have not already. The, uh, the big Android giveaway is going on now. My video on it went up this morning, as I mentioned. And other than that, I'm going to go ahead and get all the videos in the world uploaded and ready to go. And uh, I'm going to get this little one into an actual bed. And we will see you again tomorrow. Bye, guys.